Who is Danielle Jonas? You know her as the wife of the eldest Jonas brother, but did you know she does pretty well for herself as an influencer? Keep watching to find out all about Kevin Jonas's wife, Danielle. Do you remember what you were wearing on the day that changed your life forever? Danielle Jonas does. When she first encountered Kevin while she was on vacation in the Bahamas, she was wearing a flower in her hair. The year was 2007, and things didn't get off to the easiest start for the love-struck eldest Jonas brother. While roasting Kevin for a Netflix special, Danielle joked, I basically ignored him the whole time, which he loved because he said it reminded him of his mom. Ouch! As for Kevin, he confessed that he was, quote, pursuing Danielle so relentlessly that he risked scaring her off. He told PR.com, she actually ran away twice. Still, Kevin eventually won Danielle over, and after two years of dating, the lovebirds tied the knot in a gorgeous ceremony. They said, I do in Long Island on a snowy day in 2009, and Danielle reportedly put another flower in her hair. The couple told People Magazine at the time, we're so happy that we're finally married, and we were able to share the special moment with family, friends, and loved ones. In December 2020, Kevin posted a photo on Instagram of himself and his wife using a pair of payphones. He wrote, This is the spot we met, and I thank God every day for the gift he gave me. Here's to 100 more, baby. I love you. Back in 2010, Danielle accompanied Kevin on tour, and the couple turned their tour bus into one of their very first marital homes. Kevin told Glamour that year, I think traveling as much as we do and being on the road, the craziest thing is probably having our own little tour bus. For me and Danielle, it's been our little house with Danny setting it up. Not many people get to do that, and we did, so it was pretty great. They once took USA Today on a tour of their bus, showing off how much of a real home they had managed to fashion out of a moving vehicle. Taking the camera through the master bedroom, Kevin said, it's very cool because it allows us to have our own space, and with a bunch of smelly dudes and crew members on tour, this is a great place to just relax after a show and just kinda come together. This is uh, pretty much our bed sometimes, but really it's just hers. Yeah, what, what this is her bed. If you don't follow Danielle on social media, but feel like she looks vaguely familiar, you might have seen her on Married to Jonas back in the day. The reality show which chronicled Danielle and Kevin's married life was Danielle's big TV break. When Con Jackson asked the couple how they prepared to invite a camera crew back into their lives for season two in 2013, Danielle said, we brace ourselves. We're like, they're coming, okay? Sleep for a week. Unfortunately though, Married to Jonas didn't end up becoming the new Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It had a strong debut ratings-wise, and executive producer Ryan Seacrest called its married stars, quote, both relatable and captivating, according to The Hollywood Reporter. But it was canceled after two seasons. That said, it more than provided the drama up to the last minute. In the season two finale, Danielle's brother Mikey brought up a rumor about a leaked adult tape featuring Joe Jonas. But Kevin quickly set the record straight saying, it's ridiculous, it's not even true. What are you going to do? Big, big, big news, guys. Danielle Jonas is the proud founder of a jewelry line, a personal project that she's immensely proud of. But the road to becoming an entrepreneur was a bit scary for her. Yahoo Finance once asked Danielle if she was a jeweler by trade, and she laughed, saying, no, not at all. This is actually the first time I'm doing anything because I was so nervous to start anything from the bottom up. While shopping for jewelry and not being able to find what she was looking for, Danielle thought that she should create it herself, which is how the Danielle Jonas Company was born, according to Us Weekly. It's clear from hearing her speak that she knows exactly what she wants her label to be like, namely, to incorporate birthstones into simple, stackable jewelry. She told InStyle, I wanted to create pieces that are unique and easy to wear. I'm always a huge fan of the dainty pieces, and I wanted to create a line that had the ability to mark a special moment in your life. In 2019, Danielle released a meaningful collection featuring opals, the birthstone of her youngest daughter, Valentina. Her older daughter, Alina, was a big fan of a bracelet from the line, and Danielle told Page Six that both the girls like jewelry so much that she's thought about letting them design their own pieces. Danielle and her family are super close. In the first episode of Married to Jonas, viewers were introduced to her father, Bucky, as he invited himself into his daughter and son-in-law's home, which he proudly explained was very close to his own. Danielle told the camera, My family, they don't knock, they don't call, but you know, I'm used to it. Kevin may not be, but I am. Her dad will just show up in her backyard, which is really crazy to me. I don't know. Sometimes he's like, oh yeah, I was here earlier. I was like, when? Her dad isn't the only family member who plays a leading role in Danielle's life. She told Pop Sugar in 2021 that she, her husband, and her two kids have dinner with her side of the family every week 
and her sister Dinah, a chef, is the mastermind behind these shared meals. Her other sister Kathleen is the CEO and creative director of the Danielle Jonas Company. To celebrate Kathleen's birthday in 2019, Danielle wrote on Instagram that she considers her sibling to be her, quote, best friend and partner in crime. Then there's Danielle's brother, Mike. According to Billboard, he's a DJ who's actually toured with the Jonas Brothers. He's also released music of his own, debuting the single Get Love Back at a 2019 Joe Bros concert. Last but not least, Danielle also has a special bond with her mom, Angela. She dedicated these words to Angela on Instagram for her birthday in 2020. So blessed you have always got me and how I feel. I appreciate you more than you know. Danielle and Kevin are super solid, but just like with any other couple, things haven't always been easy throughout their marriage. Danielle once admitted to Pop Sugar that it took work to get to where they are now. She explained, We're definitely stronger. We barely fight. We've been through a lot, a lot of changes, a lot of ups and downs with just life itself, careers and everything. We just see that we can do anything together if we're together. Throughout her years with Kevin, Danielle has learned some pretty strong strategies for making a marriage work. In 2019, she told InStyle, Listen to each other. That's the biggest thing. Having good communication is everything. Thanks to all of the challenges they've overcome as a team, as well as their a communication skills, these two seem to be as happy together as ever when Danielle dedicated an Instagram post to Kevin for his birthday in 2021. She wrote, My life wouldn't be the same without you. So here's to you, to your kindness, your strength, your brilliance, and your everlasting charm. Danielle and her sisters-in-law, Joe Jonas's wife, Sophie Turner, and Nick Jonas's wife, Priyanka Chopra, seem to have grown super close since marrying the three members of the Jonas Brothers. Danielle told InStyle, they've always been so supportive, and it's really nice to have that, especially because they're girls and I can ask them for their opinions. That's really nice because I was always surrounded by boys. Danielle loves exchanging ideas about fashion with Turner and Chopra too. She went on to say, everyone's individual, which is cool. Sophie could be very laid back and then super elegant. I feel like we're learning from each other's different styles. Don't worry though, this definitely isn't a one-sided relationship. Chopra and Turner have both also spoken about their sweet friendship with their sisters-in-law. Chopra told LUK in 2019, I've never had a sister, so it's really nice to have Danielle and Sophie and just inherit the family by proxy. She also posted an adorable selfie on Instagram of the three of them hanging out in 2021, so they clearly seem to enjoy one another's company. As for Turner, she told Elle, it's also nice to have built-in girlfriends who are actually really cool, who I can hang out with, and we can really talk to each other about like how crazy the boys' lives are. Danielle and Kevin shared daughters Alina, born in 2014, and Valentina, born in 2016. And the two girls have totally turned their parents' lives around. She did tell her entire school that, you know, the Jonas Brothers are coming back before the Jonas Brothers were. Their kids inspired them so much that the Jonases ended up writing a music-themed picture book together called There's a Rock Concert in My Bedroom, which is reportedly going to be published in 2022. It's about a little girl whose family tries to help her overcome her anxiety ahead of her performance in a talent show at school. While promoting the book in 2021, the couple told People Mag, Now our daughters, Alina and Valentina, enrich our lives in ways we could have never anticipated. The love and care they show each other on a daily basis inspired this story, and we are so proud to share how these girls not only uplift us and each other, but are creative, caring rock stars in their own right. Announcing the book's release on Instagram, Danielle could hardly contain her excitement. She wrote, Filled with fun illustrations from Courtney Dawson, the book is all about music, family, and facing your fears. We can't wait for you and your kids to read it. Danielle is a loving wife, sure, but she also knows how to poke fun at her husband. When she was asked to roast Kevin on Netflix's Jonas Brothers Family Roast in 2021, she did not hold back. Danielle had apparently lost her voice that night, unless that was part of the bit. But either way, she had to hold up signs to ask host Keenan Thompson to read her roast jokes out loud for her. That said, the signs themselves were pretty savage. At least I had a voice to lose, unlike Kevin, <laughs> who sings backup vocals. Ouch. In her speech, read out by Thompson, Danielle also wrote, Kevin is truly the best dad. And like most people, our daughters don't even know that he's famous. We had them the old fashioned way when he went on tour and I slept with the milkman, Danielle. Posting about her performance on Instagram, Danielle wrote alongside a kissy face emoji. It's okay, baby, I still love you. Her husband responded with two stunned faces and one laugh crying one. So he clearly wasn't too offended. 
Between her TV ventures, her sponsored posts, and her jewelry line, Danielle Jonas does okay for herself money-wise. She has an estimated net worth of $5 million. Her main venture is her work with Danielle Jonas Company Jewelry, and it seems to be going pretty well for her. Speaking to Yahoo Finance back in 2018, she revealed, I just found out a little bit ago that we are sold out, which is amazing. Danielle's earnings include what she has made from appearing on a number of reality TV shows, talk shows, documentaries, and special programs. She has also starred in three Jonas Brothers music videos, First Time in 2013, Sucker in 2019, and What a Man Gotta Do in 2020. A savvy social media personality, Jonas regularly creates sponsored Instagram posts for various brands. According to USA Today, an influencer with over 1 million followers like Danielle can earn $100,000 and up per sponsored post. Last but not least, Danielle and Kevin's kids book is sure to bring in some extra dollars for the famous couple. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.